Welcome guys back. Now, we're back into the game, as you can see, and we're going to continue. Um, we're hopefully maybe able to get to the point where we're actually, um, I hate using the word, but we're actually doing something inside the uh, houses, but we're actually doing something. Um, <laughs> but, I don't know, we'll have to see. So, uh, we want to, we got a pub in, and then we actually want to build another shop down here that's much more focused on the items, and then we also want probably a uh, one that is, so we have a, so it's kind of difficult, but essentially going over what I had established was that right now I'm thinking that we have a inn, and this encourages different playstyle due to the fact that different days will have different uh, variety of items, meaning that you really have to plan around how you're going to face these enemies since they're going to be quite difficult, and that the items are going to be a necessary part to beating them. Now, I'm not very happy with all of this, so I'm just going to kind of cut this down one. And then we can just easily um, push this back up by just doing a simple... I think I'm just going to do something like this on either side. And then in and pub right in the middle. Now... We have this kind of thing, and so we kind of got to be careful. We want to have a, um, the thing right now is that we have kind of like damage at the top right, arm at the top left, in in the middle, so we have two more spots. We have bottom left and bottom right. Now, bottom left is probably going to be item shop, right? But the more is bottom right, we really got to make sure that we actually make it useful. Now, in's where you meet new people. It's kind of like the social part of the city. Now... There's quite a few things you can kind of do, I guess. You can make something like an anvil that allows you to improve your gear. Mmm. You know. Um, you could... But, I mean, like, it's a bit iffy, right? Now, right now, I think we're just going to keep it empty. I mean, oh, I like that you may be making, like, a church. And... But the problem is... That's a significant problem. Because it's good and bad. And most likely they both praise a date deity. So you kind of want to make sure that it kind of changes and that's bad when you change your stuff like that because it means that the building's changing and it's just not good so right now we're going to keep it empty and then we'll probably go through on as we go um not this episode but we made a few episodes I don't know uh, you may just say food in one time because I was like oh why not um so essentially come through here you can come kind of down this path and we're just going to kind of build a nice iron shop here um I don't know why I did that it's really just too high Yep, I know, like that long. Seems a little excessive that long, but why not? And then we can just do like three layers of roof. Ah, oh, that's fine. And then we can have blackness in the middle. Uh, I, I am actually going to extend it one more bit because I'm. No, I can't because it's too close, so I have to have double. And then we can do these cool looking windows. Uh, if we want them, we may just want to do something very simple. I don't know why I'm having these get gated windows, even though it's not in jail. It's like, why not? I guess we could just do something like this. That looks good enough. And uh, then this is going to be our iron shop. Now, this is going to be quite um, apparent that we're going to make sure that people aren't in this iron shop. So that's pretty apparent, right? It's iron shop. So we're going to go through a few things. Um, yeah, so we're going to actually start off with the iron shop. Actually, how we start off? It's different because the iron shop's more of a market. So, you essentially, before you go on a journey, you really want to make sure you're stocked up. Every time you go on a journey, all the items, all the items get restocked. Regardless of whether or not you die, I think I'm just going to restock as soon as you leave. Right? Um, I don't know. It seems interesting to do it that way. Um... Obviously, that requires scripting. I don't know. I'll see whether or not I should, whether or not I'm bothered enough. That probably doesn't require too much. Um, I can probably just do it all in the really powerful event system. So, essentially, whenever you leave the shop, most likely the armor and stuff won't really restock. You'll just have new options. But the item shop will. And item shop is essentially your augmentations. So, 
you may buy something like a potion or whatever, and they're really important for your characters because they keep your characters alive and let your characters do stuff. And the fact is that when you um, have such a game like this, you really want to make sure people are interested, and they just don't get the same team and just use it. So maybe you have an iron shot that really um, has some really interesting items, and you got to make sure they're interesting, that they really help a much more holy team. Or maybe you have one that helps a much more um, non-holy, or maybe one that helps a monstrous team, or regardless. You really want to make sure you have a variety of content for your team. Because otherwise, people aren't really going to be like, oh, you know, your team looks interesting, but... Uh. And you really want to make sure that's not happening. Okay. So let's continue. Uh, so we're going to actually have an entrance to here. So we're going to go event mode. And before we do this, we actually want to have a new map. Oh. That's apparently a market I highly doubt it. Okay, now we're, we're looking at the stuff. Weapon shop, armor shop, item shop. Yeah, I like this. Magic shop. Item shop. Got a nice variety of items, it's really cool looking. Quick vent, transfer to iron shop right here. Now, yeah, I guess that's pretty good, like right here. Nice up. And we're going to do the same over here. And you can say up. Now over here we're going to do the same thing just so we don't forget. Transfer down to hub world. Uh, it doesn't really matter, we can just choose this one here. And I hope you're going to be looking at this like, wait, there's one entrance but there's two. Shush. <laughs> Don't spoil it. It's a secret. No one needs to know that. Uh, you probably could extend this by one if you really wanted to. But no one needs to know that. So, here's the shop. We're going to add a quick um, an in, I guess, maybe. I see, okay, that's, that's weird to delete that. I don't know. Can we just create a new shop? I don't know if we can. Uh, yeah, shop processing, yay! Um... We just, I don't know what this stuff means. So, shop processing, you can buy a potion for 50 gold, I don't know. Yeah, potion for 50 gold, purchase only. I guess, I don't know. And it's going to be, why not a, a big freaking thing. Player, yay! Because we can. I like how being to set the player position anytime. Hmm. I see, so I really shouldn't probably do this. Oh yeah, so we'll choose change it to like much more of a tiley. We need a tile for this. I mean like something like this is quite nice. Uh 
don't know, it looks ugly. Um. If we go like, I don't know, like this town. I see. That's what they use, okay. So what you really want to be really want to be, um, and then what you really want to do is really want to add these things, and then these. These should make a difference. Maybe. There we go, so we can actually walk through these ones. There we go, now we can actually have a cool looking one. Looks like it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a friggin' snake thing. That's really cool. Why does it turn into like a friggin' dog thing whenever we talk to it? What? <laughs> oh well, who cares? Why not? We'll set ourselves to here just so we can like try out. It's really weird how it sets itself to dog whenever we talk to it. We're like, hey, buy something, it's dog. I see, so you can actually sell stuff. That's really cool. Um. And uh, maybe we can sell. Yeah, 50 gold. Then that means you can buy a freaking potion. Yeah. Then we can use items. Buy a freaking potion. Damn it. Why is Eric a witch? I don't know. I'm pretty happy that. That's hilarious. Um. Okay, I see. So we could have multiple shops, and then depending on that, know something, then that means we can choose what we do. Get location info. Um, can we like check the time of day? Um, if. Time. If down has been pressed, if cash goes, if gold. I see. So if you have enough gold, then we'll start buying. But um, God, I think this is pretty good. I think we've done. I don't really care too much about the shop. We will change it to much more of a shopkeeper. <laughs> yeah, I think it's pretty. I suppose just want a um, shopkeeper. Why don't we do none? Hope she doesn't turn into demon wolf. I'll be happy with this again. So you can buy stuff, and that works. Now we're just kind of testing some things out. Now the Indian pub is pretty big. Right, we we want the pub to be pretty big, but we're going to probably chat over that in another episode. But I think the fact is that we kind of want this to continue. So the fields is one, just it's basically just a starting. It's not going to be used again. So we kind of want these. Obviously, can carry off to other worlds. That's pretty simple. I'm just trying to think. Um, we want. Do we just do something? So what do we want to do? We got quite a few jobs to do. I just don't want to do. Think I really want to do them right now. I think. 
there's other stuff more important. Let's have a look at our database and see. So we have all these scripts. We, I was going to work on the Dark Mage, wasn't I? We could look in the inner pub. That's where you basically hire new people, but... I mean, we, I guess we could do a bit of work in this shop area. So we're just going to write a little script. So, um... I'm just going to Google okay, script check date. Um, RPG Maker Vix Ace. Uh, easing system. Uh, okay, let's get this ad. <laughs> I'll try and do this on stream. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, I see. So you can't check the system there. So how about you maybe randomize it? So we're going to have a variable. And then we're going to have a new one. And this variable is going to be called um, current shop rotation. Now, essentially, this is this is this is a variable. I guess we're going to delete this, and we're going to essentially break up the uh, not break up a loop, but essentially we're going to have a conditional um, branch of mobile things. So essentially, we're checking whether or not um, so variable uh, current shot rotation is equal to I don't know zero I get uh, one. Um, right, and then we're just gonna kind of do this bunch. Um, I would like to, like a uh, switch statement. Um, I understand what it's doing. I just want it to be able to have like a list of different things we'll do, like a switch. I can't see do that. Oh well. So if you can't rotation is done, then we're gonna do is we're gonna shop process a bunch of goods. So we're gonna shop process essentially uh, potions is always gonna be shop processed. Um specify I don't know fifty. We'll say standard, right? It really doesn't matter. It's also gonna stock um I think elixirs. Okay, what is it so good about elixirs? That makes them a thousand. Oh, that's for stores all mine. I don't mean that. Um, I mean... Yeah, dispel. Okay. I was like, wow, what's so good about this? Yeah, that's what's good. Okay, elixir's not what I'm looking for. It's like antidote. Yeah, pretty simple. I mean that. I meant to keep doing it. And then you want stuff like... Magic wood, I guess. I don't even know what that means. That seems good though. So we may not do that. So we may just do something like a dispel herb. It's pretty simple. Um, and that's that's a simple one, right? I mean, you could add more. Uh, obviously, I'm just using the default stuff, but that's yeah, pretty simple. Now, oh, what do I mean? I mean delete that. One. Um, that's pretty. Good. But if we had a different loop, that would be like, what if? The um, camp shop rotation is equal to two or one. Uh, no, two. 
then we would do something obviously um, we can make sure that this is off so this is where we go okay we're gonna offer potions maybe we offer high potions so it offers much more high tanky characters or should I open, maybe offer magical water maybe elixirs uh, we also offer stuff like life ups so this is much more lifey thing guards up move resistors so see this is quite much more of a tanky kind of thing uh, stimulant seems cool, I don't know that stuff seems pretty good right and then so you can see that depending on these rotations depends on um how the character interacts so it means that you kind of want to build your system around these because I think I'm gonna make them very useful but I mean obviously you can do whatever you want with them now I think that's really it I mean it's funny how last episode I was struggling to finish but this episode you know I really finished quite quickly um there's not much else I can do uh, without kind of going to the more stuff so so this was a bit carried out a bit um I'm really gonna try a bit harder to get the um series is a bit more streamlined so they're not so a bit everywhere you know, some of is really long, some long, some are short, you know. I'm going to try showing those to, oh, sorry, normalizing them. Anyway, guys, see you next time.